What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have something that we don't get to do too often, but that you guys really seem to enjoy whenever we get around to it. Now, theatrical band music video reactions slash reviews aren't really anything new for the channel, but the upload process for that is pretty irregular. We don't get to do too many new theatrical band reviews. But that is exactly what we are doing today for a multitude of reasons. The main two. One, you guys have been suggesting this band to me for quite a while and I have just absolutely never looked into them. I think maybe somebody has suggested them in one of the live streams where I take your music suggestions and check them out, but I don't remember at all. Now, the second reason is because the band actually reached out to me and said, hey, you want to check this out? And I was like, you know what? I'll do that. So here we are. We are going to be looking at a band called Tala. Again, you guys have been telling me about this band for a very, very long time, and I've also got friends that are pretty into them. I've got friends that have gone and seen them live and said that I would absolutely love them, but that is up for me to decide. I'm just way too picky, so I have a feeling that it's probably not going to go as a lot of people want it to go, but maybe that's just my negative Nancy mindset like I always have. Regardless, I hope to enjoy them. Nothing makes me happier than discovering a new band to become slightly obsessed with. Now, are they theatrical? I looked at some Google images and I'm still not sure. Pretty much the most theatrical thing that I saw about them was like a photo of one of the members in a gas mask, maybe a picture with one of the guys with some bunny ears on, and that is pretty much it. Maybe a ski mask here and there. I don't know. So are we about to do our first non-theatrical theatrical band review? I don't know. Let's turn around and hop on into it and see what we've got. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so sitting at the desktop here, I am on Google Images yet again, just trying to find what exactly makes this band theatrical. I know that you guys have recommended this band a bunch of times, but I can't seem to figure out why, because what I'm seeing is just a bunch of dudes. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of theatrical stuff that we would typically cover here on the channel. No sort of masks or face paints or anything of the sort. So maybe it's maybe it's with their live performances. Let's look up Tala live and see if that changes anything. Um, nope, nope, doesn't seem to change anything. I I don't know what that's about. Can someone explain that to me? Okay, here's a picture one of these dudes has. I don't know. Is that even Tala? This says all that remains featuring Miss May I Varials Tala. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Someone explain this to me in the comments. What am I missing here? Uh, with that out of the way, we can go ahead and jump on into the music video itself and just see what we think about the music. So, we are going to be looking up Tala, Shaken, Not Stirred. Alright, I've got my headphones in, I am ready to go, and from what I understand, this is a very new metal style band, so a lot of people have just told me that if I like new metal, which it appears as though I do, even though the bands that I like that were associated with new metal don't really truly seem like new metal to me. Anyways, they say that this is a very new metal style band, so we're gonna have to see, and without any more wasting of our time, let's go ahead and hop on into it. This is Tala, Shaken, Not Stirred, and Play. I'm gonna pause it right here because I love everything that I've heard so far and I really hope that this isn't one of those things where I love everything about the band until the vocals come in. I really hope the vocals don't ruin this for me. So that's been the case for a lot, a lot, a lot of bands in my past. So uh, yeah, sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to throw that out there. Maybe it's some sort of premonition. Maybe I'm a psychic, uh, but I really hope that that is not the case. Uh, back to it. Play. There's a chick in the band? Oh, you found no one. I wouldn't say that I only just made myself so comfortable. It seems like that was full of holes. I can't watch the blaring line. I gotta think of oh, it's all so romantic. It's all to the ball. I couldn't reach into your soul. All right, we're 
one minute in. Uh, I'm torn here because I want to dislike this guy's voice. I want to dislike his vocal style, the very kind of un uncontrolled chaos. Like, I like, obviously, brutal vocals, and I like screaming, and I like heavy shit, but uh, I like it to be controlled, and this is very chaotic, but it almost fits... It almost fits with what they're going for, so I, I, I don't hate it. It's like a... Man, I hate to make this comparison, but he sounds like an uncontrolled um, Chester from Linkin Park. Uh, I don't know if that's a compliment to you or not. I, I guess it depends on if you like Chester, but Chester was kind of a god in the new metal scene, so um, I want to dislike it, but I actually don't. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised so far. Now, let's try to get through the rest of this, and I'll try to stop interrupting and save my thoughts for the end. Plus. <laughs>
Well, what do I think after a first listen? That was, uh, man, there's a lot to take in. I'm definitely going to have to listen to it more than once, but I don't dislike it. I actually had a really good time with that. And I've got to say, before I even forget this thought, this band, this band is going to bridge the gap for a lot of people to cross over into heavier genres and or lighter genres. We're going to take like metalcore kids and hardcore kids that are into just fucking shit up slamming that's it and they're gonna get into some more melodic stuff i guarantee it because this band has everything seems like they have something for everyone there was melodic shit there was groovy shit there were breakdowns there was screaming there was singing the fucking dj was probably the most like prominent dj that i've seen since slipknot with sid and uh that was just fun i want to see them live i don't I don't have any complaints. Every time I thought they were going to lose me, they would drag me right back into something else cool that kind of came out of left field. So there would be a part that I didn't like. I'd be like, oh, why is he doing that with his voice? And then boom, hits me with something else that makes me completely forget about the part that I almost thought about disliking. So that was really, really fun. I'm actually really glad I checked that out. Again, not sure what the deal is with the theatrics. I don't know why so many people told me that this was like a theatrical band and it's definitely not something that we would typically cover on the channel, but I'm pretty glad that we did because it was honestly just good. Like, it was just, just a good time. So, Tala, shaken not stirred. It gets a thumbs up for me. I will definitely be checking out more of their stuff. And uh, if you guys want to go check them out as well, I'll be dropping the link to this music video down below. Make sure to go over there and show them some love. Let them know that the House of Masks sent you and let them know that for once in my life, I wasn't negative about something. I actually really liked something new, which is very uncommon. I've been listening to the same seven bands since I was like six years old. So yeah, rad, man. Awesome. Tala. Shout out to Tala. So yeah, that's going to do it for me here today. Let me know what you guys thought about this band down below, and I'll meet you in the comments for a general discussion. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to Tala. And we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>